Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. We invite you to join us at 1 Oakley Avenue in North Providence, Rhode Island. This podcast is presented to you by The Way Ministries, supported by listeners like you. For donations, live videos, podcasts, and more, please visit www.thewayministriesri.org. Thank you and have a great day. Welcome to the Daily Walk Podcast with Pastor John. Glad you could join me today to get a portion of God's Word. Today we're going to begin in the book of Genesis, Walk 1, January 1st. In the beginning, Genesis chapters 1 and 2. Chapter 1, six days of creation summarized, which is chronological. In chapter 2, sixth day of creation scrutinized, which is topical. Overview, Genesis opens with two accounts of creation. The first describes the events in chronological order. The second considers the events topically in order to focus on one particular aspect of creation. The first provides a wide-angle view of the creation of the universe. The second takes a zoom lens look at the climax of creation, man and woman, for they are the ones who will bear God's image and enjoy God's fellowship in the garden prepared especially for them. Insight Big questions, bigger answers. Chapter 1, verse 1, the first verse in this English Bible, Genesis, uses only 10 words to answer four of the most basic questions that thinking individuals ask. What exists? 2. How did it get there? 3. Did it have a beginning? 4. Who was responsible? The answers have been graciously supplied by the only one who was there at that time. Insight. In his image, chapters 1, verse 27, the word created in his own image reveal much about our essential human nature. All of God's creatures, we alone have moral freedom and will. Only we are capable of thinking about and knowing God. Like him, we are a unity of being, body, soul, and spirit. We have reason, emotion, and creative ability. The possibilities for comparison are numerous. And in our original unfallen state, we reflected the very righteousness and immortality of God. Insight. Days of creation. Chapter 1, verse 1 to 31. And the days of creation are arranged in two columns. Of three each day, you'll discover an interesting fact. First, God created the realm. Day 1, light. Day 2, sky and oceans. Day 3, dry land. Then God created the ruler. Day four, sun, moon, and stars. Day five, birds and fish. Day six, animals and people. Chapter one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. And evening passed and morning came, mocking the first day. Then God said, let there be a space between the waters to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. And that is what happened. God made this space to separate the waters of the earth from the waters of the heavens. God called the space sky. And evening passed and morning came, mocking the second day. Then God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with vegetation, every sort of seed-bearing plant and trees that grow seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And that is what happened. The land produced vegetation, all sorts of seed-bearing plants and trees with seed-bearing fruit. Their seeds produced plants and trees of the same kind, and God saw that it was good. And evening passed, and morning came, mocking the third day. Then God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them mock off the seasons, days, and years. 
let these lights in the sky shine down on the earth, and that is what happened. God made two great lights, the larger one to govern the day and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the scars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. And evening passed, and morning came, mocking the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water, and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And evening passed, and morning came, mocking the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals and birds in the sky and the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made and saw that it was very good. And evening passed and morning came, mocking the sixth day. Chapter 2 So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy because it was the day when he rested from all his work of creation. This is the account of the creation of the heavens and the earth. When the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, neither wild plants nor grains were growing on the earth. For the Lord God had not yet set rain to water the earth and there were no people to cultivate the soil. Instead, springs came up from the ground and watered all the land. And the Lord God said, Form the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostril, and the man became a living person. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there was placed a man he had made. The Lord God made all sorts of trees grow up from the ground, trees that were beautiful and that produced delicious fruit. In the middle of the garden, he placed the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river flowed from the land of Eden, watering the garden, and then dividing into four branches. The first branch, called Lephizan, was flowing around the entire land of Havilah, where their gold was found. The gold of that land is exceptionally pure. Aromatic resin and onyx stone are also found there. The second branch, called the Gihon, flowed around the entire land of Cush. The third branch, called the Tigris, flowed east of the land of Asher. The fourth branch is called the Euphrates. The Lord God placed the man in the Garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. But the Lord God warned him, You may freely eat the fruit of every tree in the garden, except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat its fruit, you are sure to die. Then the Lord said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So the Lord God formed from the ground all the wild animals and all the birds of the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would call them, and the man chose a name for each one. He gave names to all the livestock, all the birds of the sky, and all the wild animals. But still there was no helper just right for him. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. While the man slept, the Lord God took out one of the man's ribs and closed up the opening. 
Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib, and he brought her to the man. At last he exclaimed, This one is bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from the man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. Now the man and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. My Daily Walk What is the longest book you have ever read? What is the greatest distance you have ever walked? What is the biggest meal you have ever eaten? And what could these three curious questions possibly have in common? In case you haven't guessed, they are all examples of big projects completed in small stages. You read that book one page at a time, covered that distance one step at a time, ate that meal one bite at a time. One page, one step, one bite might not seem like much when compared to the whole, but each brings you closer to your goal. This year, with the help of the Daily Walk Bible, you'll be reading through the entire Bible, all 1,189 chapters of it. And like thousands of other daily walkers, you'll discover you can reach your goal one day at a time. Are you ready to launch your exciting expedition through the Bible? It starts with the first words of Genesis. In the beginning, God created. That God created us from dust is no reason to treat another person like dirt. Thanks for joining us, folks, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you and God bless.